Hey everybody, Double Skull Saints here. I'm Jonah. And I'm Matt. And we got our first lot of reveals for set two of Fusion World. Yes, Blazing Aura is the name of the set, and it's supposed to be May 17th. And so far we have two leaders revealed, this being the first one. Hmm. The other one is further along. But yay, set two already for Fusion World stuff. This is good. We like this. And there's already three Goku leaders. Yay! Yep. Depressing times. <laughs> <laughs> I know that sounds very bad. I know, guys. I'm sorry, but it's just like there's going to be four thousand million of these things. It is also kind of like that. It's like we're two sets in. We have three red Goku leaders all for one deck. It's like come on. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need that many options. It's the, Goku. The only other, the only thing that's been added onto the field, this is this tournament power now. Whoa! It's not just say in Universe Seven. It's say in Universe Seven tournament power. Well, I mean, you just use the set one anyway. <laughs> the start of that Goku was just like, Hi, I'm here for all your red stuff. All right, bye. Yeah. Um, so the Goku leader, pretty simple. Attacking, you draw. But the Awaken is when you like to draw your less, you get to draw a card. Ooh. But then he flips over into a 20k leader and not a 25k leader. That's brosy talk. Yeah. Um, and then the awaken side is when attacking, you get to draw a card, activate main once per turn, paying one, discarding one card from your hand, play up to one battle card with 20k power or less, and tournament power and special traits from your hand. That is good. It is very good because it, you're paying one energy and discarding a card, but you get to play anything. anything that's got 20k power. So, so long as the power is 20k, it doesn't matter about the cost. No. And that's where the huge deciding factor comes in for this. If enough cards come out for the deck, well, a good, good, enough, good enough number of good cards come out for this deck, I should say, this could really take off. Plus, it's just tournament power, which means any red tournament power cards. So I think at the moment we have Universe 6 and 7. That uh, could work with that. You have to double check. Yeah. But no, I, w I wouldn't sleep on that. I, 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 some people that cost might seem pretty steep, paying one scar in the card, but it's like... It is not. That is not steep. It's... <laughs> yeah, so you're, you're taking a card out of your hand to play a card, which means your card advantage is going down, but your energy count is still staying up, which then means you can use your remaining energy to play your other battle cards, which means you're getting more board presence faster because you're not using energy to play them out. Yeah, you save energy, so it's a bingo. It's like, you hurt your hand to gain the board. Yeah. Uh, we've got an Android 18, it's two cost, 20k. It's um, Android using for seven ton power, and in permanent, parent's turn, it gains 5k. So, yeah. And we got a TN. He's got Earthling in for seven ton power, 20k, 3k, um, well, 3k, what, 3 cost, 20k, blur. So, yeah, there we go. Hang on. Target. Target. Yeah. Uh, and then on play, play up to 3 Tian Shun cards with 15k power or less from your hand. Uh, <laughs> whatever, it's just, there's already two Tian's. Tian? Tian's? Tian? Um, there's the one cost one that's got 15k power, and then you've got the blocker. Yeah. So, you could pay one, discard one, play this. Play out three blockers. <laughs> yeah, play out three cards. It's like, for one energy, I got four cards. Yeah. The only downside, of course, you've got to have them in your hand. Oh, no. <laughs> so. Oh, there you go. Torn power. Yep. we got Rosie. The two cost 15k. It's got one attacking. This game's 5k for each. Uh, four turn for each of your opponent's battle cards. And then, again, yeah, torn power. It's the biggest takeaway from that at the moment. Yeah. Until we see some Maiden Squadron or Universe 2 stuff, the Tournament Power is the, the takeaway. But being able to get big, bigger, depending on your opponent's board presence, is pretty good because it can quite easily hit quite hard then. Yeah. Oh my god, a yellow card. A yellow Goku. It's got 25k, it's three cost, and it's just a Satan. Mm. <laughs> Permanent, your turn. If your opponent has three or more rest mode battle cards, this card gains 5k power. That's so, good. So it's a 30k beat stick. Yeah. And we got a Piccolo. 
So it three costs 25k power, it's in the making god, blocker, and then when caged, choose one of your opponent's back cards and switch it to, no, choose one of your back cards and switch it to mode. So you can re-block with stuff. Or okay, just reuse stuff. Or save a card if you want to save a card. Yeah. Uh, so we got a Gohan, two costs 15. Say an Earthling in case it's relevant for anything. Uh, on play, choose up to one of your Piccolo battle cards, would cost three and switch it to active mode. So the blocker. So you get a swing with your blocker and then right. and then get it back to block with for the following turn. Yep. And the final one is Zomarsu. You are looking forward to the old heart version of this, aren't you? Yeah. You want to see the old <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Show me the old heart. <laughs> So we have a Fuser Masu, it's got on attack and draw, and then it awakens on free by drawing a card. It goes to 25k. Um, enjoy. Um, Which is good, right? Oh yeah, yeah I'm not denying that. Because you're awakening it free. <laughs> and then active main once per turn, you pay one, discard a card, if your life is at two or less, add the top card of your deck to your life. So you can keep yourself at... Uh... Um, two, um, two to three life. Yeah, I don't like the fact that you can't draw anymore. Yeah, that is a like. Don't get me wrong. Twenty-five key power is pretty nice, but yeah, if that's all it does, and yeah. you're discarding a card for that, yeah, it, it needs hand recovery, <laughs> so and it's bad. also a top card of your deck so it would be better if it let you pick a certain type of like between certain costs from your drop that way you can't recycle super combos yeah but you could also just be like oh look i put this in and then i get it back and then i use it yeah but, but then it would give the deck a little bit more functionality because you're discarding a card from your hand to do it as well yeah, it just it gives I mean, it gives the deck a little bit more, and because it acts, because that's all it does on the awakening side. Yeah, I mean, if you could shuffle your, well, I know if you shuffle your drop, then you could just see what's in your drop. Um, maybe just even a card from hand, like draw a card, put a card from your hand into your life, just by paying one. Yeah. Instead of just guarding a card. Yeah. Because then that way you're still losing a. Yeah, you still take a card from hand. He's getting. A draw, and then like, if it's between certain costs, your opponent gets to see what goes in there. Yeah, because you have to prove that it is that. So like, if it says choose cards of cost five or less and put in your life, you'd have to reveal that to your opponent. So you can't be like, oh look, the super combo. Oh look, I get back and played. Yeah. So, I I like the look of it. I think it's really good artwork, and I do want to see the alt art. But yeah, I, mm, I'm not sure about the overall. The deck itself would have to be insane. Yeah. To make this leader worth it. Absolutely. <laughs> Anything else you want to say regarding it? No, uh, well, I think I've said my piece. Like, it's, it's kind of playing off what the set 2 Zamasu did. The whole, like, um staying on X amount of life but again I just kind of wish it did a little more because you just discard and add one back if you're on two or less so eh. it's not even an activate battle once per turn that would have been good as well I feel like that would be too much if it was active battle because you could just play oh my opponent like I'm on one so like say you're on one and your opponent does the whole like chuck the hand to try and kill you, you could be like, oh well, pay, ditch, add, take. Yeah, yeah, no, I see, yeah. But again, <laughs> it would just be, it'd give it a bit more. I think mean, if it was active battle during your turn. Yeah. Not either play. Either play's turn, like I said, it'd be too easy. You'd just be like, oh look, I'm on one, kill me. Ah, JK, middle fingers. <laughs> it, it just would be nice if you do a little bit more. Yeah. I, just draw a card. <laughs> That's my main takeaway. Just draw a card. <laughs> Please. Hi, guys. Uh, so, look out for any more upcoming Fusion World videos. Leave any thoughts in the comments below. And we'll see you next time. So, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.